Okay, uh, Z Cougar 88, or I'm gonna call you Zach. Okay, Zach, I you're killing me, man. You're just you're killing me. Okay, first off, I have no problem with your long hair, man. I dig your long hair. I think your long hair is kicking. All right, but the problem is the the concept between civil, uh, what was it, oh, like uh, priestly and moral. Okay, I don't know where it says in scripture that you can just pick one or the, one or the other. It, there's nowhere in scripture that it says I can do this one and this one but I don't have to do this these type. Or I can do this one and this one and I don't have to do this type. It doesn't say that anywhere in scripture. It, I don't know where. If you can show it to me, that'd be fabulous. But I don't see it anywhere in there. Jesus Christ said, Not, uh, not one jot or tittle shall no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Now I'm not here to harp on your hair, man. I'm, see, see, I got the beautiful locks myself. See, check it out. Oh, yeah, baby, they're, they're hot. I don't know. But, <laughs> The point is, man, the, the point is, okay, you, since not one jot or tittle shall always pass from the law, okay, when we go to 1 Corinthians chapter 11, and he starts talking about, uh, it doth not nature, it doesn't say in its abomination, doth not nature itself say, well, doth not nature itself say that it is abomination for man to wear, or it's like, uh, I don't remember, I'll post it on the thing, you'll see it on the screen, you'll see it right here, but anyway, um, it says that doth not nature itself say. Now nature is not God. Here's God. Here's nature. God. Nature. God. Nature. Okay. These are the two aspects that we're dealing with. Okay. When God says, I would not allow, uh, you should not round the corners of your head nor mar the corners of your beard. Okay. That's God. Okay, that was in Leviticus. That's the Levitical law. That's one of the things that is you not one jot or tittle shall always pass from the law. That's another thing that we're supposed to be doing, whether it's moral, priestly, or civil. It doesn't matter. We have to do all of it. But there is a difference between nature, or sorry, nature and God. One is instinctive. Like the Jews, or the, the Gentiles would say that doth not nature itself say, well, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not into thine own understanding. When you trust in nature, that's trusting in your own understanding. So, hair. Or not, you're not supposed to round the corners of your head nor mar the corners of your beard. So what I would recommend to you is if you want to back up this statement, if you want to back this up, any woman gives you a hard time for your long hair, you check out Corinthians and it says they're supposed to pray with their hair covered. Okay, if, if they're not doing that, then they can't get on your case for the hair. And if they do do that and they get on their case for the hair, you send them back to Leviticus and you show them where it says, around the corners of your head, no more the corners of your beard. Okay, now, <clears throat> because, and then you show them that it says nature, not God, nature. That's cosmos. Read the Greek. Why doesn't anybody ever read the Greek? I don't understand why nobody reads the Greek. Read the Greek, man. Read it. It's important to know. <laughs> if you don't know the Greek, you have no idea what you're talking about. Anyway, it's cosmos. Cosmos has nothing to do with God. Anyway, so, I, I didn't mean again, I, I'm not upset at you, Zeke, and I, and I think your beard, hair is beautiful. I just think that you need to, like, find the right scriptures to back it up and not say, I can do this scripture, but I don't have to do this scripture. And all the sections of these scriptures, I don't have to do anymore. Jesus Christ said, Not one jot or let title shall no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Okay, Jesus Christ fulfilled all of the sacrificial commandments because Jesus Christ is our sacrifice. So those are fulfilled. If they're not fulfilled, that's the only difference. If they're not fulfilled, you have to still do them. If they're not fulfilled, if they are fulfilled, you don't have to do them. But if they're not fulfilled, you have to do them. That's the whole point. That's, Jesus Christ said that. Why callest me thou Lord and do not the things which I say unto you? Jesus Christ said that. And he said, not one jot or tittle shall always pass from the law until all be fulfilled. So, if, it's, if Jesus Christ did it for us and fulfilled that law, now that's why sin cannot condemn us to death. Because Jesus Christ died for our sins. Anyway, I digress. The whole point of this was to come in here and talk to you about your scripture and the hair. Because, dude, you're kind of, there's a couple scriptures that you need to learn. Anyway, I, I, you're a pretty cool guy, Zeke, and you look pretty young, so I'm going to catch you some slack here, because I don't think you, you, you just need to get into it. Uh, Leviticus, I, I'll post it on, I'll post it on here so you can, like, see the, yeah. Anyway, take it easy, man. Peace.